Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zaid here with another episode of Zaid's Experience. Today, we're gonna be talking beard. So for all those of you guys who don't have a beard or have a beard in general, stick around, because we're gonna do a lot of things to this beard, as you guys can see. It is all over the place. Let's go. So first things first, as you guys can see, um, the beard is not technically in, a, in an awful spot right now. I've been letting it grow for some time. And the main thing that's been going on is, if you guys can see, it's just kind of all over the place. It's bigger on one side than the other. The, as you guys can see, look, this is, this is a really big thing. Um, you can tell when a beard is really messy. Look, one side is a little bit shorter and that's normal. And then the other side is a lot poofier. You guys can see like this is a lot more than this, but good old trusty comb and brush. Brush everything down. Don't look that bad, you, you know? So the only thing that I want to do is I just kind of want to make it work for my everyday style, work for everything that I do on a daily basis. So what does that mean? What you're gonna wanna do, if you if you just kinda know that your beard isn't just, you know, the way you want it to, let's say there's a hair not in place here, there's hair not in place there, and it just makes, it throws everything off, just like this, this is a good example. So as you guys can see, everything here, the ideal should be for it to kinda just like, you know, look like a line of some kind, you know, have some shape. However, on this side, as you guys can see, like the hair, like just right there, you see, just how it, kind of comes out like Wolverine style you and then in comparison to this side it, it's, it's a mess you know and even if I pull on this side you can do that so my recommendation is however you guys gonna want to wear your beard or however it is that you guys wear your beards on the daily uh, adjust it to that use no product let's say if you guys like to wear your beard a certain way let's say you guys do add product Make sure you go ahead, style it the way you usually style it, and then perform refinements that you're gonna do on your beard. That's how, how I do it. However, I like to wear my beard is kind of after I brush. That's however I use it. I try to keep it as natural as possible. So in this case, whatever I do is usually, it's usually the following. I'll go ahead and just mess everything up. And just kind of move everything around. Video done. <laughs> nah, just. And there, there, it looks pretty decent. It looks like pretty even. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with both sides. You see how there's, there you go. Where there's not a lot of brushes and then the more refined one. So we're gonna hit it with both. First with the one that has a little bit more of a gap in between them. Especially if you have a, a curly beard, you know that this kind of just sucks. Like it just pulls on your beard, which is why I kind of hit it with the brush first. It minimizes the, pull, the hair pulling a lot. So we'll go through that, then use the other side after I go through it. Simple as that. That's how I usually wear my beard. I try to do as less as possible. If you guys wear any product, go ahead and put it on now, and then we'll style it according to that. That's my recommendation. Also, a big, big thing. If you're afraid of any changes that you guys are gonna make, especially right now with all the barbers kind of closed and everything just kind of, it's closed here in the US because of COVID-19, I highly, highly recommend that you guys take really small amounts off. That's how I usually kind of roll with, that's how I roll. That's how I roll. That's how I roll all the time. I go ahead and take off very small amounts. That way if I do make a mistake or if I did manage to take a little bit too much off the top, um, I can always just leave it like that and let it grow again for a little while or something that's gonna be like a week or two to grow in. And usually that'll be more than enough and then I'll hit it again, you know? But as opposed to just going in and cutting it a bunch of, and then taking a little bit more off of this side and then that side and that, that side and before you know you have no beard and you have to trim the entire thing because you completely messed up. So what are we gonna start with today? Let's see. From my perspective here on my beard, there's just too much volume here on the sides. There's a couple of ways to take all that volume off, as you guys can see, like, it, it, especially if you're uh, a bigger male. <laughs> but if you're a bigger guy, the, one of the last things that you kind of want is to add more mass to your face, since you already have such a big frame, and then adding more mass to your face, then you're just gonna look 
is gonna be insane, you know? So there's two ways we can start taking off some of that volume. And the first thing that I usually wanna do is take off volume from the sides. The reason why I wanna take volume from the sides is because I want everything to kinda of look kinda of squarish, like everything coming down, versus it looking like this and then poof, like a, just a mass of volume like around my face. So we can do that two ways. We can do that with a pair of clippers or we can do that with these. And if you're starting off, I think these are much better because with the clippers, you tend to take a lot more off and you don't realize it until you're like, whoa, shit, I took way too much off. <laughs> so highly, highly recommend it that you start off with these. So we're trying to take off very small amounts, very, very, very small amounts. If you, depending on however it is that you guys want your beard, if you want a rounder beard, sure, go like that and then cut like that, go cut in the round spot. But I kind of like everything looking kind of like down and square here versus down and round. You see how everything's kind of round right now? I kind of don't like that look too much, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut straight down and then we'll worry about this bottom part in a little while. If you're a lefty like me and you're having a hard time just kind of really like flattening out some of this stuff because you know like you're trying to do this and, and you're, you're going like way in here and you're trying to keep it out here. Um, something that I do but I, I won't recommend it for everybody unless you really got this down is go ahead and pull that hair. Pull that hair and kind of know where that's going to lay whenever it is that you brush. So this is how much I removed. Doesn't look like a lot, but it's it's kind of long enough here, you know. That looks pretty good. But that doesn't that doesn't look bad at all. It looks a little bit more flat, you know. So right now that I've done as much as I want to do on this side. Actually, let me take a couple of these off. And don't worry so much about this. Right now we're gonna go ahead and fix this. But yeah, you see how how much better already that looks in comparison to this side. This side I haven't done anything and look, you can tell that this one looks way fluffier than this side already. And here you can even kind of see that there's a there's a bulging spot like there. You see? And then it flattens out here and then it flattens out down there. So let's hit that a little bit more. Just a tiny bit. Again, you don't need to do a lot. See, much, much better. Still, there's a tiny bit, but I, I know if I take too much off of that, it's gonna look a little too weird, so gauge that as well. So that's all we did. And then this is kind of this part. Let's go a little bit down. Actually, hmm. Maybe I'll just remove a couple of these from the kind of bottom portion. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't, see, doesn't look bad. It looks even all the way down. So let's do that on this side. And a good thing is try to always look at both sides. Go ahead, cut up a little bit off of this side check on the other side check yourself like just like this just forward okay how does it look from this side to that side even 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 almost okay perfect always even that out to the other side and do realize that on one side you might just have like a little like i do i have like a little swirly here and that tends to go ahead and fluff up a lot more so it'll be weird but try to leave more hair on that side try to hear whenever you got like a little swirly try to leave a little bit more hair to kind of cushion that area out because if you take too much it'll look like you have a bald spot on your beard so make, make sure you take care of that i have one over here and i'll, and I'll show you guys how that's going to look in comparison this one grows straight down but this side doesn't and a lot of people have that and they don't know how to work around that and for me it took me a long time until my but throughout all the barbers, I kind of learned, oh, okay, so that's what they're doing. They're just leaving a little bit more of a patch of hair there. So let's do that exact same thing on this side and checking back and forth. Look at how much more I had on that side. Just, just off the top that I had to take off and look to balance it out. So one side usually tends to grow a lot more than the other. You know, if you had a dad that show you this kind of crap, cool. You know, like this, this is, I think this is awesome. I had to learn this the rough way, <laughs> messing up everything all the time. But I have a lot of beard, so it just keeps on growing back. It takes time, doesn't matter. 
Again, just comparing all the time. Compare them. Compare both sides. There you go. I think that looks way better. It doesn't look too much in. It actually, there's a lot still that I can pull from down under. So I think that's actually a good thing, you know? It's when it sucks when you do this and your 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 beard starts looking like that. Or if you like to wear it like that, go for it. But this is not kind of what I'm going for. I'm not going for that look where you looks like somebody's gonna grab you from the chin, you know? Not going for that. But as you guys can see, I, I it definitely even when I do this, you see it kinda it even looks it still looks even on both sides. But this is what I was showing, was telling you about. This side tends to grow pretty even down, you know? It keeps, it keeps on going down. I don't have any swirlies or anything there. Um, but here I have like a little swirl of hair that just kind of does this right here. If I take too much off of this, even if I try to even it out with this side, what's gonna happen, it's gonna look like I have a bald spot here. So what I tend to do is I tend to leave a little bit more hair on this side to just kind of fill it out. And that I usually just kind of drag around with my brush a little bit and it evens out. You see how it evens out even though it look like, even though I have way more hair here than I have here. Like it's not, it's not as much. Here I'm actually pulling from the, from the bottom. Actually there's more hair from the bottom than I'm pulling, but from the side there isn't as much. However, it looks like there, it, there's way more hair actually. It actually, there is actually way more hair on this side. But that looks even and that's what we're going for. So, now we've cut up from the sides. We've cut up like everything from here. Now, try going around and looking like, as you try to rotate your head towards the mirror, rotate and kind of see from that angle what's kind of going around here without even touching the mustache. What, what's, what, what hairs are kind of sticking out? What are, what are the ones that look like that? Like little tentacles coming out, you know? Try to even those out. Again, brush everything down or however it is that you wear your, your, your beard and then see and cut those. So I'm gonna go on both sides and do that now. Whenever I do this, this final touch kind of just kind of going around, like that really cleans it up, makes it look like, like you did something to your beard, not like you just, you know, woke up. That I think is looking a lot better already, just taking off a couple of those. And it's just the tip guy. Like it's just the ones that are kind of really, really sticking out and you can really tell, you know? Sweet, you see? A lot, a lot better. Now it looks a lot more even. And it's super simple guys. This is just how I do it. I like to keep it square. If you like to keep it square and then going under, then you start cutting into that. But now it's that bottom part. What are we gonna do? Now, as you can see, this is a little bit more obvious. You see how here I got like <laughs> a bunch kind of growing out on this side. Here, all that's growing out. And this one is kind of just doing its thing down here. This one's growing over here. So we're gonna try to even that out. And this is kind of the hardest part, to be honest. I like to not flatten it out completely. The same thing that we did here at the end, which was kind of like see which ones were the ones that were sticking out. Those are the ones that you're gonna wanna cut. And a small amount. Just cut them a really small amount. Like cut the, just kind of like the tip of the hair is this long. You're gonna just wanna cut this bottom part. This is what you're cutting, that small amount. Cause then, especially if you have curly hair, you're gonna see that there's a big difference in the morning when you wake up and you're like, ah, I'm missing half of my beard. And then you brush and you're like, oh wait, it's there. So this is what I'm gonna do. Here, I can see that this bunch, I don't know if you can see, that one's really sticking out. So I'm really gonna take a good amount of that off, not all of it. Again, brushing it down, because for me, this is how I wear it. You usually kind of just brush down all the way. And, and I swear, guys, it's not even a lot that you have to do. See, that looks already, I think, a lot, a lot better. And I just took really small amounts. You can leave it round like that, or again, square it off. I'm gonna try to square it off a little bit more, and you just gotta make sure you're going with your vision at its max. Again, small mounts, brush. Small mounts, brush. Compare it to both sides.
and this is where it gets tricky. You saw how much I did to this side? I haven't done anything to this side. That's how much sometimes hair grows from one side versus the other. And you gotta let that be okay. You gotta let that, you gotta realize that just because you did something to this side doesn't mean you have to do some more stuff to the other side. This is actually looking okay already. It doesn't look like I have to do much actually to this side at all. It's just the way your hair grows. Sometimes you'll get more from one side versus the other and you gotta let that be okay, guys. What do you think so far? See, like this, actually, I think this is what I, all I'm gonna do with my beard today. Just, there's a couple of scragglers around here and you can really, really tell that there's a massive difference, a massive change with how the beard looks, guys. And this is just kind of even everything out. We're not going into massive detail. This is like something you can do, just kind of maintenance work that you can do for, I don't know, every week or so, every month or so, depending on how much your beard grows, you're gonna have to gauge this, guys. This I try to do like every month because, or every like three weeks, and I'll take some of that off. And we're already looking like, like this looks like something, like I went to the barber or did something. And this would probably cost you somewhere around 30, 40 bucks, depending on who you're going to, you know? Um, so yeah, guys, this is something very simple that with repetition, again, take very, very small amounts off and you can definitely do this all the time. You can save that extra money by a good set of um, scissors, you know, to cut your beard, um, by a good brush, a good comb, like buy these. These are, I think, way more essential and you can take ownership of your beard, your, how you look. I think a, a lot of guys are kind of lost in that regards as to, you know, who do I go to for, for, for men grooming, which is a little weird thing, you know, when you think about it, but I think it's super, super essential. And I think there should be much, much more on the topic. But in any case, guys, I think I'm gonna leave my beard like this. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Sage Experience. If you guys like this video, please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. You guys know the deal, push that notification bell. And I'll be coming out with a video for this. The mustache i know we didn't touch it or anything like that but i think this video has gone long enough so i'm gonna split it into two parts guys so check that mustache one out and you'll see how the whole thing changes after that zay out peace